Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope you'll have a good Shabbos if you are here in the area. Uh, I hope you can make it to Young Israel Shabbos this morning. We'll be having the honor to hear from Rav Yuval Sherlow, a very important rabbi, Rosh Hashiva leader uh, in the uh, Dati Lumi world in Israel. Uh, he really is a profound thinker and teacher. He has a sensitive uh, and caring soul, and uh, you will get a lot uh, from hearing him. I am very confident. Shabbos morning, immediately after Davni, he'll be giving a drasha that will be discussing uh, the challenges of navigating division within society, trying to find partners, and uh, increasing unity in the Jewish people. And then after Kiddush, uh, he'll be giving a shir that will discuss uh, several different new halachic questions, answers, uh, ethical questions related to the war in Gaza. And again, uh, it'll be very worthwhile to hear him uh, in one or hopefully both of those two opportunities. Uh, we continue to count. Unfortunately, today is the 315th day. Always thinking of Israel Day is 315, that the hostages remain in Gaza. And this Torah should be a merit for the hostages, for the soldiers, and for all of Israel. Uh, the Parsha begins, Moshe speaking, Va'eschanan el Hashem ve'isahilemor. And I was pleading with Hashem at that time. Ebranav era esa'aret hatova. Please let me enter, enter the land of Israel, the good, good land beyond the Jordan River. But Vaisaber Hashem bi lemanchem. Moshe recounts Hashem uh, was mad with me. Lemanchem, because of you? And he said, no, you will not enter. What does it mean that Hashem was mad at Moshe because of the Jewish people? Hashem had stated that Moshe would not be entering the land of Israel because of his sin of hitting the rock. Rashi says, indeed, that is just what that is what this phrase is referring to. Laman Chem, it's because of you. Indirectly, you caused me to not enter the land of Israel, Moshe Benu says, because you got me mad, you infuriated me, you frustrated me, and you are the reason that I lost my anger and hit the rock, and that's why I can't go in. The Malbim alternatively explains uh, that no, Moshe didn't go into the land of Israel, primarily not because of his sin, but because of the sins of the Jewish people. And when the Jewish people sinned with the spies and cried and said, we don't want to enter the land of Israel, and the entire generation was decreed that they would not enter the land of Israel other than Kalev and Yeshua, really already then Moshe Rabbeinu was included in the decree because the Jewish people no longer merited, they no longer deserved to have Moshe Rabbeinu as the leader. It was only that maybe Moshe, out of his own great merit, maybe he could have had that decree overridden, and it was the sin of the striking of the rock that therefore Moshe lost uh, that extra merit. But really the reason why Moshe could not enter the land of Israel was because of the mistakes and the low spiritual level of the Jewish people. Liman Chem, it was because of you. However, a third interpretation uh, that I'd like to uh, present and think about comes from Salvage, a very interesting, creative interpretation. He says that Moshe Rabbeinu here was complaining to the Jewish people. He says, I'm not entering the land of Israel and it's because of you. What did he mean by that? The parsha begins by Hanan El Hashem. I was pleading with Hashem, and Chazal describes how Moshe Rabbeinu was davening over and over in his private shemonasri, so to speak, day after day. But Moshe Rabbeinu's prayers were not enough. And what hurt Moshe Rabbeinu was Laman Chem. It's because of you. It's because the Jewish people themselves, the nation, they never davened for Moshe. If they would have davened to Hashem, if they would have said, if there would have been a great gathering, Hashem. Reverse the decree. We want Moshe Rabbeinu. If people would have been privately davening for Moshe Rabbeinu, Hashem, please have mercy on Moshe. He wants so much to enter the land of Israel. Can you just please let him enter the land of Israel? He deserves it so much. If the Jewish people would have davened for Moshe, Hashem would have relented. But the Jewish people didn't daven for him. And that's what it means, Liman Chem. It was because of you, because you didn't daven for me. Uh, you didn't show Hashem that you wanted me to come with you. And so Hashem uh, retained the decree that Moshe went on to the land of Israel. We see from here the great power from this thought, this interpretation of salvation, the great power of davening uh, for others. Uh, in a very moving uh, video, still worth watching, that the OU produced uh, for Tisha B'Av, interviewing three different women, one of a mother of a child, who is being held in Gaza, one of a mother of a child who was severely injured, one mother of a child who um, uh, was killed in battle. Uh, and the mother of the child who is still being held in Gaza talks about how she davens for her son. 
And she doesn't just daven for her son, but she imagines that she's there next to him. She imagines that almost she's in his body. She's experiencing that and she davens for him from captivity. And she says that she had started this practice years ago, that when someone would ask her to daven for someone, or she on her own would daven for someone, someone who was uh, going through a health crisis, someone who was going through a financial difficulty, whatever it may be, she wouldn't just daven for the person, but she would... Uh, try to imagine what it's like to be the person, to be with the person, to be in that situation, and to daven from, from that place. And she's talking about how powerful that is spiritually. And for a person to do that, for to truly identify with someone else and to daven from that place, Hashem must take those tefillahs into consideration. And if we daven for others, we'll find that it brings us closer to them. We feel more identified with them. We have more rachmanus, more passion, compassion and love for them. Uh, and that is a kind of chesed, a chesed that is a spiritual one. Um, uh, to daven for someone, uh, not just out of pity, but out of love, out of friendship, out of uh, a sense of unity, camaraderie, sharing the burden uh, of other Jews. And there are many people to daven for, whether it's related to some aspect of the situation in Israel, whether it's someone uh, who we know here living in Brookline, a member of family living some, somewhere else. Uh, it's a very powerful thing to uh, take some time to consciously decide to daven for someone. Uh, and in your private Shimon Asrei, or while reciting Tehillim, uh, to truly think about that person, think about that person is feeling, whatever challenge they're facing, and to daven for them. And Hashem will listen. Uh, according to Rav interpretation, that's why Moshe Rabbeinu didn't enter the land of Israel. He could have entered the land of Israel if only others would have daven for them. Uh, and in our, the merit of our tefillos, especially when we daven for, for others, our prayers should be answered. Uh, the burden that is upon other people uh, should, be, uh, should be lifted. Uh, and um, we should all uh, hear good tidings for ourselves, personally, our families, our community, and all of Israel. Wish everyone a good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom.